chicken liver soup pancakes is not just a series of words that I've said to make everyone feel sick. No. According to this cookbook, the Pancake Cookbook by Myra Waldo, soup pancakes are a thing. And furthermore, they're a thing that you can make with chicken livers. I know you're horrified. Prepare to get more horrified. Cause we're gonna make some of these bad boys. Here's the recipe. A quarter pound of chicken livers. Two slices white bread, trimmed. One half cup milk. Two eggs, plus two egg yolks. Two tablespoons grated onions. Two tablespoons minced parsley. One teaspoon melted butter. Three quarters teaspoon salt. One quarter teaspoon freshly ground black pepper. Two tablespoons dry breadcrumbs. Two egg whites beaten stiff. Two tablespoons vegetable oil. Uh, so the recipe starts out by telling you to puree the raw chicken livers in an electric blender. Uh, it also gives you the option of forcing them through a sieve or chopping them to a paste. I have a blender and I'm lazy, so I took that option. If you're not throwing up already, the next instruction is to soak the bread in the milk and mash it smooth. I feel like about 90% of the population got hit with that scatter shot of disgustingness. You beat the eggs and the egg yolks well, mix in the liver, bread, onion, parsley, melted butter, salt, pepper, and breadcrumbs, and then fold in the egg whites. Heat the oil in a nine inch skillet. Pour the mixture into it evenly. Bake in preheated 350 degree oven for 25 minutes or until firm. I don't know what I was expecting. It looks kind of like an omelet. Cut into strips or dice and serve in soups. That last part's where it gets me. Because see, I cooked the pancake and it kind of did come out looking basically like a pancake. That's sort of pancake shaped. I've cut it up into strips already, but you can see it's pancake-ish. What you can't do over the internet is smell that the pancake smells like chicken livers, which maybe shouldn't have been a surprise, but I've been sitting here with this pancake on this plate in front of me as I've been recording this video, and the smell is not growing on me. It's not improving as I sit here. Usually, you smell something and it kind of acclimatizes to your nose. This is just sort of building up in my gut area. Uh, we're gonna start with just the pancake. Just have a little bite here. Ah, that wonderful chicken liver. Oh, why am I doing that to myself? So, on its own, this does not taste what I would call amazing. Again, not surprisingly, a very strong taste of chicken livers. However, as I mentioned, this is meant to be served in soup. So, I have heated up a little bowl of beef broth here. So, Because I don't want to, like, the pancake is the star here, guys. I could have bought some soup or made some soup, but the point is not the soup. So I wanted to, like, sort of have a soupy thing, but not really go overboard with it. And we're just going to drop some of these pancake strips into this soup. Sort of get it sloshed around in there real good. 
Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, this will make it better, right, guys? Get my my lucky spoon. I can do it. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it, guys. I swear I can do it. <laughs> You know that's not nearly as bad. I will I will give him that credit. I'll take another bite, yeah. I can handle this. soup pancakes. You know, I'm surprised this is a very bread-ish product. I mean, if you look at it, it kind of it resembles a bread, a pancake, or whatever. And so when you put it in a liquid like this, you would very much expect it to lose its consistency, to start becoming soggy and falling apart. And the thing that is surprising is that it does not do that. Uh, it still retains some of that kind of chewy bread texture, but it it just soaks up the flavor of the soup more so than the actual liquid. And just the juxtaposition of the chicken liver flavor with the beef broth flavor was actually okay. I'm not a big soup eater myself. I don't really love soup. Uh, so I was expecting to absolutely flat out hate this and it's not bad. I'm not gonna make it basically ever again in my life because there are other foods that I enjoy, and I'd rather fail forward than backwards. I'll find other foods I don't like and keep making some of the ones that I do. But this one, if you gotta have it, you could definitely be eating worse things. And I'm surprised to be saying that, because, again, sitting here talking about this, I could just smell both of those aromas coming in my mouth. The smell of the soup and the smell of the pancakes. And they were not making sweet love together. They were both turning my nose and my stomach. But this is okay. I'll give this like a 5 out of 10. Almost went to 6. Realized that was a mistake. But this is pretty okay. I hope you liked this video. If you did, click that like button. Uh, leave a comment if you have any suggestions or want to tell me about pancakes that you've heard of that I have not. Uh, we might do some more of these. I don't know. Stick around and find out, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.